game week practice. How you feeling about the defense going into you know, your first game? We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. We got to uh, work out some kinks. And, uh, you know, anytime you really kind of start uh, zeroing in on an opponent, uh, you got to make sure you uh, work on, of course, their base stuff. And then, you know, some of the things that they, uh, you know, can get to in certain sets and uh, certain plays. So uh, uh, we're getting there. Today was uh, basically the first day of work, real work day. And uh, the guys flew around a little bit today. And uh, uh, we just got to clean up some stuff tomorrow. Talked a lot about the energy and the effort, you know, all camp. Yeah. Does it go up another notch now that you guys are focusing on somebody else? Uh, oh, yeah, no doubt. Anytime you're getting ready to play an opponent, uh, as opposed to your offense, which you've been going against for 20 uh, some odd practices, uh, you know, your, your mindset changes, especially uh, the offense is different. And, uh, you know, you know, you can get ready to hit some other guys that are not uh, wearing the exact same color helmets that you are. So uh, the, the, the uh, intensity level most definitely is uh, picked up. Obviously, a pretty challenging opponent, you know, a top 10 team in Notre Dame. Your thoughts in preparing for such a difficult challenge right out of the game? Uh, I mean, man, they're, they're a playoff team, and uh, they've proven that last year. Uh, they have a playoff quarterback. Uh, Ian is really, really good. He's good with his feet, he's good with his arm, and uh, he does a good job keeping the chains moving. Uh, they have a really good running game, and uh, no doubt, you know, the offensive line is a better group. Uh, they've done a, a great job for those guys over the post, for those backs, uh, and as well as protecting the quarterback. So those guys are really, really well coached, and uh, you can tell they're better. We've been together for a long time, and it's a challenge, and uh, we look forward to that challenge. Yeah. When you look at film, you see him both. Just what does he, what does he stand out at on film? Uh, both, just like I just said, uh, you know, he's a great passer, a great runner, and, uh, and you can tell he's a leader on that team, especially uh, you know playing the last two years. Uh, you know, being able to take him to uh, you know a bowl game the previous year against LSU, winning that game in the last minute, and. Uh, and then this past season to be in the playoff team, uh, you can tell he's taking on a leadership role now that it is his team and he's not splitting reps. Uh, you know, and, and I can tell right now that uh, uh, he's going to be a, a wreck to deal with coming up. Is preparing for this game any different than preparing for Kent State open on season last year? No, no different whatsoever. Uh, you know, of course, it's a, a different, uh, different group of guys that I'm coaching. Uh, so we're not going to be able to do all the things that we were able to do against Penn State. As far as preparation-wise, we're going to go about it just the exact same way. You talked about the players. They have a little extra cut in their step because they're actually practicing for a game. As a staff, do you all feel the same way tonight? You can get some video of your guys in right. game time action. Yeah. Oh, oh, no doubt. No, no doubt. We're, we're excited, uh, like I said, for the challenge. And uh, uh, anytime you're – you know, been going against the exact same offense, you know, for 20 some odd days, it gets kind of boring a little bit. Uh, but now when you're actually playing, playing for something and coaching for something each and every day, uh, you know, throughout the season, uh, every game is a challenge and every game is exciting for us. And uh, uh, we're excited as coaches to finally go against something else. Who's more excited, the players or you guys as coaches? I think a little bit of both. I think a little bit of both. We're, we're excited, man, to get this first game underway and get it, uh, you know, thrown up underneath the table once it's over with and, uh, you know, continue to play the game of football that, uh, you know, that all of us love players and coaches. So uh, we're, we're just excited. Scott mentioned that you'll be down on the field. How important is it, in your opinion, for the coordinator to be down there with the guys? I, I just love it, just the simple fact that I can look into those guys' eyes when adversity hits uh, and just, you know, kind of keep them calm, you know, being the leader of the defense. Uh, when they can see that, hey, I'm, I'm calm, cool, and collected, uh, and I can kind of, you know, calm those guys down in adverse situations. And uh, it's very, very key for me. And, and just the feel of the game and the feel of their vibe and, uh, and to know certain things to call and not to call uh, just by their vibe of the game and, and how I can see in their eyes how they're, they're going about each and every play and each and every series. So it's really important to me. How about you guys get dinged up throughout camp? Feeling pretty good health-wise going on? Uh, we're getting there. We're getting there for sure. And, uh, and that's part of the game. Injury's going to happen. And uh, so it's next man up mentality. And that's why uh, we've been you know, trying to do a great job of building our uh, second string and third string guys up building them up and getting them up in the reps. And, uh, and that's been a big key to us to be able to do that. And uh, uh, so hopefully we'll be able to get those guys performing at the level that we expect those guys to perform with the first three guys as well. Depth chart, depth chart came out, that former walk-on, Dana, mm -hmm. was, was, you know, from the first front. What was his reaction when he saw that he's one of the guys with the first team? Uh, well, I think with Dana, he's been a hard worker his whole life. You know, and, and coming in uh, spring ball, he was the same exact way. You know, he worked hard and made a lot of plays. And uh, and so, you know, going into spring, uh, going into fall camp, and uh, you look at, you know, maybe day 10, day 11, and things of that nature, he's leading the D-line in production every single day. You know, so uh, when you got a guy like that, it's, it's no need if you got scholarships available not to put him on scholarship, especially with our numbers being down. And uh, 
but he earned it, and he earned the spot to go out there and walk out uh, with that first group uh, come Monday night. Uh, just with his work ethic and, and effort and knowledge of the football, knowledge of the game, uh, he's uh, he's one that every football coach in America would want to have on his football team. You mentioned that offensive line of theirs. In your experience, do you see units like that hit the first week maybe a little quicker than? I guess some other teams or units might do just simply because they're so used to playing together. Oh, oh yes, no, no doubt. Uh, I mean that's. Uh, I mean you look at our teams throughout the past and our state. Uh, you know when we have those guys for many, many years. That first game is like it's whatever. It's maybe their 90th game together or 70th game together. Uh, so they know, uh, you know, uh, what calls to make. You know, uh, know how to uh, know what steps to make. They just been there throughout the, the grind of uh, the last couple of years or whatever, and uh, they know each other, and so you're able to jail so much quicker, even with uh, it being the first game of the season. What would Saturday be like for you guys? The rest of the country is playing on Saturday, starting this season on Saturday. Just have another couple of days. Yeah. What was Saturday? Saturday is just like a, uh, a Thursday for us. You know, basically, if you're looking at it, uh, playing on a Saturday, uh, so Saturday will be a Thursday for us, and Monday will be like a Saturday course play a game day so uh, we'll practice that day and uh, you know just like we normally would same uh, you know same uh, amount of time and uh, we'll move it up just a little bit uh, to get us guys a, you know some time to watch some college football that night uh, but it'll be just like a Thursday for us. There's been some discussion amongst the media and even the fans about looking at the depth chart I think there's one guy over 255 pounds mm -hmm. is there a philosophy there or what are your, what are your thoughts on having guys that, that well we got what we got yeah you know, it's nothing that we can do. We can't go out and, you know, get free agents and say, hey, we need 300 pounders. Uh, but, you know, we got the guys that, that were here, and uh, so we just got to go to the with those guys that are here.